Welcome to my next tutorial in the series of tutorials on using Dreamweaver and uh, testing servers. So in the second part, what we're going to do uh, after having installed a software such as Bitnami or MAP in the first tutorial, we are going to set up Adobe Dreamweaver to connect to that PHP MySQL testing server and actually um, you know, gain access to all the features that you have when you have um, Apache running in the back end. So essentially it's the same process as almost every website that you build in Dreamweaver. What you have to do is you have to go into the site menu in Dreamweaver and either go to new site or to manage sites. So for example, if we go straight to uh, new site, um, the important thing is to know exactly where your local site root folder is. The site name itself is actually relatively irre um, unimportant in the sense that it makes no difference to Dreamweaver. However, it is important that you create a name that is going to be meaningful to you, the user. So for example, I'm going to call it ePortfolio for the class that I teach. Now, the local site folder is the site on your development machine. Uh, you could have it, let's say, be in your documents somewhere. Um, but for the purposes of just trying to keep things simple, what we're going to do is we are going to place the, um, the root folder inside the Bitnami root folder so that the testing server and your local site server is actually the same place. So there's many ways of doing that. You can type in the path uh, yourself or you can just click the folder and go in and drill down through the Bitnami folder until you get to htdocs and select that. So by default, htdocs is the root folder of the Apache web server and in 99% of the cases, that's the folder that you want to select. In the more specific case of my students at John Abbott College this semester, uh, we want to mimic the fact that uh, our root folders are going to be nested a few uh, folders deeper than the actual root. So for example, the class um, ePortfolio is in a folder of its own. And inside there, each student has a folder of their own. So for example, I'm now going to choose my own folder inside winter semester 2013 ePortfolio. Remember, once again, by default, uh, normally you would use the root folder of the uh, Apache web server. In this case, we are doing something very specific for uh, you know, technical reasons. So we'll choose that. Basically, same thing as if you were doing a static site, just tell it where the root folder is and you are done. The quote unquote magic when you are using a development server comes in the server's uh, pane of the site setup dialog box. So in the first section site, all you have to do, is give it a name, tell it where the folder is. In the server section, you actually have two things to say. You have to tell it where the testing server is and where the production server is. The production is the one where the site will be when it's finished, when it's live. And the testing server, obviously, is the one where you work as you develop the site. So to add one or the other, it's always the same thing, you go to add new server. So for the first one, we're going to call it Bitnami because that is our first uh, preoccupation, like that's the one where we're going to be doing most of our work. And because Bitnami is installed on my local computer, I do not need to connect to it via FTP in different flavors, I actually connect to it through, it's on the local machine. So local will suffice. And I go, excuse me, I go in and I go find my Bitnami folder, and in this case, the Eric folder. So the Bitnami application itself 
goes to read the files in the same place um, as where the root folder is defined. The one thing that's sort of special is the web URL. And the web URL is the HTTP address that the testing server uses to refer to itself. Now, the in computer science, the computer that you are at, when it's connected to a network, it refers to itself by a very specific IP address. And it doesn't change whether you're on a Mac or on a PC or anything else. It's always the same thing. Localhost is 127.0.0.1. So that's what we have to type into this um, web URL. Now, 127.0.0.1 is the local machine. The local machine accepts information in many different ways. Um, and each of those different ways has to connect to a specific port. That's what keeps the machine from getting confused. So normally, for example, FTP transfer is done on port 21. Uh, websites, port 80. Normally, Apache listens to port 80. But in this case, since we're using a development server and we don't want to you know, open up the ports uh, that are normally used for real web traffic, uh, since we're doing development, we have another port number. And by default, uh, Bitnami uses 8080. Once again, considering that that is the address that goes to my root folder, if there's anything else that I am putting inside of there, uh, sort of if I put my root folder further in than the default, I have to specify it here as well. So web13 ePortfolio slash last name and first name. So in basic, that's the only thing that you have to do. Give it a name, tell it how to connect, where's the folder, and the funky part is the web URL. In the advanced pane, all you have to do is basically tell Dreamweaver that you're using PHP, and that's it. You just save it. Notice that uh, Dreamweaver, by default, considers the first server to be the remote one. In this case, we're actually using it as a testing server. So. Bitnami is our number one machine. That's where we work. Once we're finished, we can upload our files elsewhere. And in many ways, we basically just do the same thing, but in this case for our real hosting company, which is Bluehost. So we will call it Bluehost. We have the FTP info. The FTP address is actually the name of the website or server that you're connecting to. So it could be as simple as pdht.ca. The username has been given to, uh, to all the students um, in a different way. I obviously, I'm not going to put it online. But uh, your username goes here. The password goes there. And be careful to change this part over here because that does not work, obviously, on the production server. That's the address for the uh, testing server. So what we'll do here is we'll put students.pdht.ca. And the rest of the address should be actually OK. And once again, the uh, advance button, we are making a PHP MySQL. And the one thing that is terribly important over here, the root directory, okay, uh, the credentials that you get normally connect you to the root folder of the website. In the case of the ePortfolio students, the credentials are made such a way that they bring you into the web folder for the group, so the ePortfolio folder itself. You want Dreamweaver to connect to that, but more specifically, you always want to go into your own folder. So in the root directory, what you want to do is you want to put your last name and first name over here. So this information here is available on Omnivox, so as a PDF, pdht.ca is the server, and the full address down here is complete, including the server, HTTP, the group, and the specific student. 
the specific student name has to go here otherwise you will wind up always connecting to the group level and that's where you can get mix-ups with uh, your files and someone else's files and that's basically it so when you have your information over here you can click test and you should basically get a nice little dialog box saying you has you have successfully connected to the server